It's Christmas time, and it's the fourth week of Advent. Oh, Tommy, Christmas Day is almost here. I can't wait for presents. Well, Ralph, presents are a lot of fun. You're right, but uh, did you ever think about why we give presents at Christmas? Uh, I don't know why. Well, giving someone a present is a way to say that you love them. Well, that makes sense. I know I love getting presents. <laughs> oh, Ralph. But seriously, we give presents to communicate love. And uh, Christmas is a time when we celebrate God communicating love to us by giving us the best gift ever, Jesus. Wow. Well, that's awesome, Tommy. Yeah. And uh, we're going to talk more about love. But uh, first, we'll look at our Advent read. This is the fourth week of Advent. So we'll light the fourth candle. This candle we'll call the angel's candle, and we'll talk about peace. We have been reminded of the prophet's message of hope, the faith of Joseph and Mary, and how the shepherds rejoiced to see the Savior that was born. And now this week, we'll look back to who brought the good news to the shepherds that we read about last week. Remember, Luke chapter 2 verses 9 through 14 tells us, Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the city of David, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the babe wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to people he favors. Did you hear that? The angel and the multitude of heavenly hosts said, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to people he favors. Peace on earth. Jesus came to bring peace. Well, Tommy, it seems like there's a lot of fighting and arguing going on. It doesn't seem like there is much peace. Well, that's a good point, Ralph. The peace that Jesus brings can be found in the lives of those that trust him as their Savior and Lord. Romans chapter 5 and verse 1 says, Since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That verse means Jesus came to fix the problem our sin or our disobedience created so that there could be peace with God. Uh, you see, when we sin, we are fighting against God. Our sin makes us God's enemy. But uh, Jesus came and took the punishment for our sin on the cross. He defeated death and rose again. Now, everyone who has faith in Jesus as their Savior and Lord can have peace with God. And as far as all the arguing and fighting, you see, well, Jesus will bring peace to that too when he comes again. In Revelation chapter 21 and verse 5, he says, I am making everything new. Wow, that is cool. Jesus came so we can have peace with God. Yeah, just like the prophet Isaiah said, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Hey, Tommy, what about that white candle? Oh yeah, the white candle is called the Christ candle. The Christ candle is lit on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. The Christ candle is usually white. The white color can remind us of purity. You know, Jesus was like the spotless sacrificial lamb. He was pure, without spot, without sin. And he came to die in our place. You know, the Christ candle can also remind us of the love of God. Like we talked about earlier. God has shown his love for us by giving us the best gift, Jesus. The Bible tells us this. In John 3, 16, it says, For God loved the world in this way. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life.
it's bonus time! Woo! All right, hey, hey, Tommy, I am excited for Christmas. Me too. But uh, hey, do you know any good snowman jokes? Uh, it's no doubt about it. <laughs> oh, 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 that's pretty bad. Yeah. Hey, uh, what do you sing at a snowman's birthday party? Uh, I don't know. Freeze a jolly good fellow. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, how about this one? Hey, uh, what's a snowman's favorite cereal? I don't know. Frosty Flakes. <laughs> oh, Frosty Flakes. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, hey, what do snowmen like to do on the weekend? Uh, I don't know. Just chill out. <laughs> oh, chill out. Hey, that's pretty good. How about this one? Uh, what did one snowman say to the other snowman? Well, I don't know. Do you smell carrots? Oh, oh, oh that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Hey, hey, Tommy, Tommy, uh, all this talk about Christmas, but, uh, you didn't say anything about the three wise men. Oh, well, that's next week. Oh, what an epiphany. <laughs> oh, uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Hey, hey, Tommy, let's go get some waffles. If, waffles? Why waffles? You know, like the song. Here we go, a waffling. Oh, <laughs> Let's go get waffles. Waffles.